all eaten up, all eaten up. Mystery man, reveal yourself. He won't. Oh, it's the invisible man. In today's episode, how are you doing? To Mappas and Mappas, welcome to Stories of My Life. So today I'm meeting Magnus for lunch. Suddenly, people, we are lunching. And I'm going to meet him at Ringvägen, that some of you might know, that street that we sort of decided to eat on every restaurant there is. So today we're going to eat on a re in a restaurant called Elephant Poiken, the Elephant Boy. It's, uh, what was it? Asian Fusion... Or just Asian, I can't remember. Anyway, and after that, we're going home to Magnus for a cup of coffee because I think he's got some new Lego to show us. So join us. No, join me. Well, join him as well. Join us. Yes, please join us. Please. People, it's time to go into the city. It's not. I mean, it's. I, I, I will be early because... I want to check out a second-hand store that I haven't visited in a long time. Oh, and I need to buy popcorn kernels because I'm, I'm going to try that air popper. Air popcorn make, I can't remember what it was. Something, you make popcorn without fat anyway. So that's good news. Also, should I go to the gym today? Because I'm paying for it now. Should I? I don't know. It's a really nice look, isn't it? So, this is the first time I'm meeting Magnus in maybe a month, maybe more, I'm not sure. He's been working in Westeros, which is a city in Sweden, about an hour on a train from Stockholm. And he's been an assistant director and a lot of things on a production of Peter Schaefer's Amadeus. And He's also a cover. So he's been doing last week, I think there were five performances and he's been in four of them playing two different characters. So he'll have a lot of interesting things to talk about. People, this is Ringvägen. We're gonna, I'm gonna meet Magnus down there, but here is a secondhand store that is really well, it's almost like a flea market. I don't go there very often. I seldom find anything, but today might be the day. It is. It's called Återvinnarna, which is the reusers or the recyclers. So remember yesterday when I found one of these purple ones. Now it's lime green and orange. Now I'm in the absolute basement and I never found anything except great wooden hangers here. Five more wooden hangers. And I like the ones with prints that say sort of, this is the dry cleaners of this city or whatever it is, or this clothing manufacturer because they don't make them like that anymore and also that wand thing <laughs> was only four dollars I bought it mostly because it was sort of weird orange and lime but not quite lime more uh, what, what do you call that mint maybe I'll be meeting Martin Magnus in about eight minutes but I'm gonna go into this shop behind me here to just try perfume. I know, I shouldn't, but I shall. Aquari Paramount leather is fantastic. But then the salesperson who showed me that also showed me Tom Ford leather, which was also fantastic. Damn it. Time to meet Magnus. I've got a question. What's the normal amount of perfume a person should have? the sort of different brands and different bottles. What's the normal brand, do you think? So there he is, people. He's trying to steer me to a place, a safe place where I can park my car. And a man coming, talking to himself like a madman. This is Elephant Poiken. 
the elephant boy. How did you find this restaurant? On Google. Oh? I googled Ringwagen. This is the street of Ringwagen. We had a thing like like a like a thing kind of thing that we were supposed to try out all the restaurants on Ringwagen. I don't know when did we start? Was we, it summer? Uh, early this summer? Yeah, I think. And then we, we we did quite a lot, like yeah. maybe about eight or ten or something. Maybe three. Was it only three? <laughs> yeah, I don't think it, was, it wasn't ten. Maybe not. Well, but, but but it looks better in on film. Yeah, we did maybe fifty. Fifty. This is the last one. This is the only one we haven't tried so far. Yeah, and it's supposed to be like an Asian fusion thing. Good. But it, it's elephant boy. Oh, elephant uh, Asian. Yeah. Okay. I'm taking the sort of veganized wok tofu with fried rice without eggs, oyster sauce or fish sauce. I don't know what I'm getting. It's quite a nice room, isn't it? We are sitting outside. So here we are. This is a vegan thing. This is non-vegan for the non-vegan person. The actor who's played many parts this last week. How many performances? Four or five. People, this was really, 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 really good. I can totally recommend this. Mmm, it's a party in my mouth. All eaten up, all eaten up. Mystery man, reveal yourself. He won't. Oh, it's the invisible man. People, I can totally recommend Elephant Poiken on Hunsgatan in Stockholm. We were talking about tea and then we passed this tea boutique and we went in and they got, it smells fantastic. And all this is, these are spices that they made themselves. And this as well, it's pizza, pepper, and tea is over there. This is, and the smell is fantastic. He's just bought Mahinda's curry, hot for his, it's gonna make chicken. And I'm, to, I'm not, I'm not sure what I want. This is a chimichurri. Oh. And this is all tea, and I'm having a cardamom tea. People, now we are walking up to Mona's apartment for some vegan cookies. Ta da! And coffee. Or maybe tea. I'm not sure. Maybe tea. So, people, this is for those of you who have not been to Mona's apartment before. This is La Kitchone. This is La Hallway. This is La Bathroom here. I don't know why, it, I don't know why I've turned Italian. This is the living room. It's slightly heavy on <gasps> Taj Mahal. Have not seen the, oh, there's so much new things here I haven't seen before. Damn it. This one, see, this, oh God. He needs to tell me now because I can't remember what's new or not. Taj Mahal and all the cars and the boat circle back are new. That I know. That's new. Oh my God. That thing is, whatever that is, is not finished. Diner, what's, oh my God, what's going on? We need an intervention. This is light stuff for, uh, for all the stuff. So I thought it's, turned. first thing Magnus do, does do when he gets home is what? Yeah, <laughs> change two shorts. It, it always <laughs> does. This is fantastic. Okay, so he'll talk to me later about all this. I am live. Hello, people. I am live at Magnus' apartment and we are making tea, but that is not the interesting thing because Magnus is sort of... Wait, I'm going to show you Magnus. People, it's time to go. Magnus is trying to give me stuff and I said, no, I will give you stuff. Instead, God, everything is breaking down. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been... It's been a lovely evening. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, people, I've been thinking about that perfume. And I think I might go buy it because I think I deserve it. And I haven't given myself an opening night present. So I think I will. I will.
Well, some of you might remember my gloves that I had in the back of my... And suddenly there reappeared a pair of new gloves. This is the woman who put the, glo the new gloves there. Thank you so much. <laughs> No, it's fair. I haven't got big hair. Yeah. yeah okay. I, I was so. I thought. To, a violent second hand. Good. You're so oh, sweet. Yes, Thank oh. you. <laughs> that was Eva. We used to work together at uh, Mamma Mia. Twenty years ago. I don't know. I won't. I won't. Uh, but she heard me talking about those gloves, and she thought. I think I, I told her that I had the gloves and some, someone could sort of take them. So she thought I had understood that it was she who exchanged the gloves. Because the back story is, in here I put a pair of gloves that I, I couldn't really donate them. And I, wouldn't want, I didn't want to throw them away. And I thought, well, if someone takes them, they're welcome. And after that, people told me that, well, you sort of, you turn people into thieves. And yeah, that. But... One morning when I came out, after having them in my sort of basket for two weeks, maybe, there were new pair of gloves there instead. She had exchanged them. I think that was the best spoof or joke or whatever in all my life. I'd never been so surprised, sort of, that someone, and that someone didn't come forward. I mean, this is two years later. Maybe. So here are the wooden hangers. This says P. G. Alström. I don't know. Oh, Vasagatan. It's on the same street as my theatre. Hotel Kung Karl, a hotel in Gothenburg. Don't know if that hotel is still there. Hotel Knaust i Sundsvall. Justa Helkvist. I think this is some sort of manufacturer, Stockholm. And. Arve Sjöstrand, Drottninggatan 84. Oh, fantastic. I'm going to ask Ulf about this. Knaust. So let's see what we've got in the bag. We've got this orange cord. And this, isn't this a weird colour combination? I mean, if I think if, if this line would have been more, this green would have been more intense, maybe it would have worked. Well, anyway, I've got it. But what I'm looking for is this. Aqua di Parma leather. And I thought when I bought it, this was about $95, that it would be as big as that one. But no, I don't think so. So wasn't really that expensive, but I don't think the bottle is very big. So let's check it out. And by the way, I prefer when there's not too much perfume. I don't want to get ripped off, but it's... Um, I prefer to change a lot. And if you sort of got this humongous bottle of something, you kind of grow tired of it before you finish it. Okay, people. <laughs> well, it's good. But the thing is, I asked the woman in the store because I saw one of these small bottles. And I said, do you have anything smaller? Do you have anything in this size? And she said, no, sorry. And then they were all in this size, I guess. So, um, how much? Oh, 20 milliliters for um, that much. So, let's try. Okay, people, let's try this. Hopefully it is worse than, oh God. And these are so dirty, I can't even see the hole. Where the fuck, there it is. So. Mm. This one is leather and, uh, oh God. I sometimes, if this was a drink, it would be some really good whiskeys, beer, something, something you drink slowly and mm, it's not fresh. It's more, it's leather and oud and, um, Fire, I think. I like it a lot. I deserve it. It's 
happening. This is the face of not exact procrastination, but something sort of easily fooled to to sort of look at something else, do something else. I start doing this and suddenly I'm, what? How I mean, have you ever seen such a lovely salad? This is fucking fantastic. He's working as a dresser in a musical show He don't know how to sing and he can't rhyme very well But he takes a lot of movies and he's vegan, you know It's Hello and welcome to A Thousand Ways to Wear a Napkin This is one way One way This is one way First you can do it like that And you can do it like that Oh, fancy that Oh, that's good This is good Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.